The future ain't what it used to be. Two centuries hence, America is a nightmare land of toxic waste, melted ice caps, and desperate shortages of oat bran. Ruined shopping malls lie in glowing piles of rubble, poisoned by decades of fast food and by obscure chemical byproducts of decayed Nintendo packaging. Society has fallen into a dark age. Most of the country is a barbaric chaos. Here and there, city-states have arisen, vying for power and influence. Horrible mutations roam the countryside, monsters spawned of radiation, environmental toxins, and unregulated bioengineering. Amidst this backdrop, the Superhero Leagues have arisen, founded by folks whose mutations or bionic enhancements have given them powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Their mission, to nurture the rebirth of a new society, to ease the suffering of the Dark Age, and to provide a place where superheroes can always find a date on Saturday night. You are the Crimson Tape, new leader of the Superhero League of Hoboken, a fourth-rate superhero league in a corner of New Jersey that sunk to the bottom rung of the league hierarchy. During your predecessor's tenure, your band of merry mutants includes Tropical Oil Man, capable of raising the cholesterol levels of his opponents. Robomop, an intelligent kitchen appliance with the ability to clean almost any mess. The Iron Tummy, capable of eating spicy foods without any distress. Captain Excitement, whose aura of lethargy and dullness can put many opponents to sleep instantly. And Mademoiselle Pepperoni, capable of seeing inside a pizza box without even opening it. Your arch nemesis is the nefarious Dr. Entropy, spawn of a junkyard, who is determined to thwart the rebirth of civilization. Everywhere you turn, this evil genius is sowing the seeds of disruption and chaos. You will venture forth on missions assigned to you by the Commissioner of Superhero Leagues. Matilda, your mission computer, has the details of these tasks. Meet your goals and the Superhero League of Hoboken will advance in rank and prestige. As you climb the ladder of Superhero Leagues, new superheroes will flock to your headquarters. The name of the Superhero League of Hoboken will once again be spoken with respect and admiration. And the League just might vote you a nice fat Christmas bonus. Good luck, be brave, be bold, don't screw up.
The Jersey City Marketplace is the geographic and economic center of that city-state. Its destruction would devastate the village, probably resulting in a series of skirmishes as villagers warred over the remains. Reports indicate that a dreaded Limburger bomb has been planted in the vicinity. This looks like the work of the fuming phantom who, you'll recall, was recently foiled by the superhero league of Flushing when he tried to explode an armpit bomb in the Mineola Marketplace. If the bomb is not disarmed in time, the market and surrounding area will be rendered unusable for 75 years, a drastic setback in our attempt to bring stability and peace to this region. The marketplace is located here on the Jersey City Peninsula at coordinates 12, 8, easily accessible by a party on foot. The East Orange city-state is being overrun by a herd of sheep with a particularly virulent strain of rabies, possibly transmitted by rabid hedgehogs migrating down the Palisades from the Nyack village region. If not stopped, the flock could weaken East Orange to the point where our strategy of extending peaceful order in the northwestern Jersey quadrant could be endangered. East Orange Village can, if necessary, be accessed by foot, but ferrying across the Hackensack River Basin will be faster and safer. That evil mastermind, Dr. Entropy, is up to his old ways again. Our operatives report that he is on the verge of perfecting a ray that will reverse the arrows on road signs. Caravans will become hopelessly lost, and intervillage trade could come to a crashing halt. He must be stopped before he can activate this ray. Reports from the field indicate that Entropy is using a historical site in Sector 2C at 412 for his hideout. Take the ferry to East Orange Village and proceed on foot. A widespread cult in Patterson has long been worshipping an old personal computer, believing that the fireworks display of its screensaver contains highly sacred messages, as interpreted by the local high priest. Apparently, the computer has begun to malfunction. If the problem isn't corrected soon, the populace will grow restive, the high priest may be endangered, and a bloody power struggle could erupt over his successor. To locate and repair the PC, search for the temple at the northwest fringe of the Patterson city-state in Sector 2D. In the early part of the 21st century, one of the food processing conglomerates involved in the so-called Salsa Wars bioengineered a particularly fiery jalapeno pepper in an attempt to create the spiciest salsa on the market. A large crop of the new pepper was grown but never used, and shortly thereafter the company and its records were lost in the Great Collapse. The fate of the crop was never known, until now. A cache of these dried, super-strong jalapeno peppers has been discovered in a warehouse in Newark, close to the rising water table. If this cache of peppers ever leached into the aquifer, it could render all of the area's wells unusable. This cannot be allowed to happen. The old Newark perimeter fence lies at 6-8 in this sector. Our reports fail to mention where within Newark the warehouse is to be found.
Orange Village for 20 kilo dollars. I normally charge us 50, but seeing as you're superheroes and all, interested? It, man, well, like the superhero recruiting brochures say, it's more than a job, it's more than an adventure. It also has role playing elements or something like that. It's been a while since I signed up. Sure thing, my stomach's been growling for the suckers ever since we walked in.
this damn thing's been on the fritz for days, and I haven't a clue what to do about it. If word gets around that I've caused our holy PC to stop issuing its wisdom, I'll be tarred and feathered. Or, even worse, I'll lose my position and actually have to work for a living. You gotta fix it, you just gotta! Purring and feathering isn't painful, is it? Oh, what a world, what a world! No, when we got it, we had this junior acolyte who said he knew all about these things, so we decided to save the money. Then he was hired away by a temple in another village. Yes, it came with a toll-free 24-hour number, but it's been 30 years since I saw a working telephone. I haven't seen it since the Great Book Purge three years ago during the Feast of St. Schlafly. They add an air of mystic primitivism to the shrine, don't you think? Our symbolic visuals and images consultant recommended them very highly in terms of creating the proper atmospherics. It was delivered by hand a few days ago. It is very common for believers to donate objects to be placed beside the Shrine of Patterson. In fact, that's where I get most of my neckties. On the other hand, I think of what we were told in high priest school. Nobody was ever sent to hell for buying IBM. Go ahead and insult me, just so long as you fix the damn thing. the joyous word. We are not receiving pilgrims today.
Simpletons? Soon I shall finish my masterpiece and you will watch helplessly as I turn it on! Even for a super villain, I have a very full schedule. Not necessarily. It depends on whether or not good has a hint booklet. My ray here will reverse the arrows on every road sign in northern New Jersey. <laughs> Inter-village trade will be kaput. Because sales of the game would plummet, you twit. <laughs> Ah, but without my goal of spreading chaos and increasing entropy, I would lose my passion for my work. <laughs> and what a waste that would be of my unique genius. Also, us bad guys have way better parties than you good guys. I once had a fairly normal body of flesh and blood, but a gang of cutthroats left me for dead on the grounds of the old Fukuoka's junkyard. <laughs> There, a malfunctioning repair robot, attempting to create order from the disarray of my dying flesh, reconstructed me using bits and pieces 
from the junkyard. <laughs> After what that pernicious repair robot did to me, imposing its twisted, perverted order on me, instead of just letting me expire in peace, I've dedicated my life to cleansing the world of order, to maximizing the entropy of the system we call Earth. <laughs> You're looking nice and clean today. What can I do for you? Never! I always clean my bristles with a medicated detergent. <sighs> I suppose I combine some of the features of each. Hoboken, but don't count me out! <laughs> I'll be back! Entropy always increases, you know! Get to the union. Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Sapphire, Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, and Amber. This communication just in from the Office of the Commissioner of Superhero Leagues. In acknowledgement of their successful missions in valorous service, the Superhero League of Hoboken is hereby promoted to a level 2 league. All members of the league are awarded 1,000 experience points. A grant of 500 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Your maximum party size is hereby increased to 5. Hi! I'm Treaderman. I just heard about your league's promotion, and I'd be honored to join your ranks. I've got some things that might be useful. 
I'll drop them off in the storage cabinet on my way to the lunchroom. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the briefing room. Lying on his deathbed somewhere in Hackensack is the only living person who still knows the formula for the creation of Silly Putty. Mere days from death, he refuses to divulge the formula to anyone who cannot pass a certain test he has devised. You must travel to Hackensack Village and convince this man to give you the formula before this ancient and presumably truly vital knowledge is lost for all time. Hackensack is in Sector 2D at coordinates 13-6. The Superhero League of Scranton did not respond to the routine weekly communication. Subsequent special transmissions have also been ignored. While this may be attributable to a malfunction in the SLS comm gear, it could indicate that a more serious crisis has afflicted our fellow League. Your mission is to reach the SLS HQ and determine the cause of the League's unusual silence and take any appropriate steps to correct the situation. Scranton is too far to travel by foot. Transportation to Scranton may be available in central Newark. The warlord of the Piscataway city-state has been getting increasingly cocky and aggressive, threatening neighboring villages. He must be made to lose face in front of his warriors in order to lower his respect and bring a moderation in his behavior. In order to accomplish this, you must steal or hide his toupee so that his warriors see his bald spot. His mansion is in Sector 1B at 13, 9. That evil mastermind, Dr. Entropy, is once again up to no good. Our intelligence reports indicate that he has set up operations in the control tower of what was once Newark Airport where he is using bioengineering techniques to create a species of pigeon which will have perfect aim while pooping, even while flying at top speed. Needless to say, this would render urban areas even more uninhabitable than they already are. 
Newark Airport lies in a flooded region two squares south and one square east of downtown Newark. Next month is the SLH's annual Cinco de Mayo party, the highlight of the League's social calendar. The party will be a bust unless you can locate and obtain some guacamole dip. Certain field reports indicate that Sector 1C would be a good place to look. Take you to East Orange Village for 20 kilo. You folks are getting to be my best co- Take you to East Orange Village for 20 kilo dollars.
No, the factory's been shut down all day as a protest over these miserable working conditions. Yeah, we're people, not animals. We negotiated in good faith. And management treats us like dirt. Worse than dirt. Swine receive better treatment. Cockroaches would never put up with this. Sure. Our contract clearly states that our working environment must be lit by 100 watt fixtures. But our expert consultant has pointed out that the lighting in this facility falls a good 2% short of that. Yeah, at this rate we'll all be blind by the age of 90. Bastard. Yeah, well, you probably saw us in Companions of Xanth. We used to work in that game until it went non-union and then we had to walk out, of course. Robomop, advance, Mademoiselle.
Shut up! I'm uh, reading these interviews! I think it's from one of the old religious books, like the Bible, or the Koran, or the Sears Catalog.
state your business. Please be brief. I'm a very busy hench person. I am called the Collector. Like Dr. Entropy, I desire to see civilization descend into chaos, but for different reasons. Entropy enjoys chaos for chaos' sake. I, however, see chaos merely as a method to make my collecting activities simpler. As I've already said, I collect superhero heads. Among the other things I collect are antique airplanes, Stephen King first editions, and small misshapen spheroids. Not at all. Provided, of course, you don't mind if I gently remove all of your heads. Toodles to you, too. Tropical Oil Man! What can I do for you? Check up? Cure? Lottery tickets? Joke! That was just a joke! There hasn't been a lottery for 120 years, remember? This one is pimple cream, this one is a flea-killing spray for barnyard animals, and that one over there is a balm for soothing painful rectal itch. Wait, I'm having a special this week on Sir Jaw Muscles. Who are you and why are you bothering me? Can't you see that I'm busy dying here? <coughs> Which is a lot more work than it looks. I know you're here to get me to tell you my secret formula, but I ain't telling. <laughs> me pappy visited me a few days ago from me on the grave, and he told me he changed his mind. I shouldn't pass along the formula before I die. <laughs> I always listens to me pappy, especially if he takes the trouble to come all the way from the next world for a chat. <laughs> now leave me alone. At least until I'm done dying. Who are you and why are you? Pappy, you've come back to see me again. I hope you're not going to change your mind again and tell me I should be giving out that formula. Hurry! 
Say, you must be the guy me pappy told me about. I'm supposed to give you the formula for silly putty. Here goes. Two cups unbleached flour, four tablespoons of beeswax, one ounce of gum arabic. Oh, wait, that's a formula for Play-Doh. Okay, I remember now. <coughs> Two cups of sugar, one gallon of elm sap, a teaspoon of ricotta cheese. No, no, that's the formula for bazooka bubble gum. Darn it. <laughs> Your memory's playing tricks on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is. Treader Man. Advances to Superhero 8th Class. His abilities increase in every area. Ah, you must be the superheroes that His Excellency sent for. You are to enter this sanctum at once. And now for the crowning touch. Pun intended.
Oops, <laughs> almost forgot my lucky paperweight. The Crimson Tape advances to superhero 8th class. His abilities increase in every area. Robomop. Mademoiselle. Party of superheroes. Always glad to have costume crime fighters in my shop. An honest shop I won. None of that black market business in here, no sirree. Would you care to see my wares? State your business. Please be brief. I'm a... Not at all. I am... As I've already said, I collect soup... Toodle... This will be a fine addition to my collection of small misshapen spheroids. Uh-oh. My pocket is one quarter full. This will be a fine addition to my collection of small, misshapen spheroids. Uh-oh. This will be a fine addition to my collection of small, misshapen... This will be a fine addition to my collection of small, misshapen spheroids. Uh-oh. My pocket is completely full. I'd better go home to empty it. Promise me you won't go up those stairs while I'm gone, okay? You foil me and eat orange, but a truly determined bad guy can't be stopped so easily. Your arrival is serendipitously timed. I'm just putting my little friends through their final paces.
Yes, yes, what is it? Even for a super villain, I have a very full schedule. Not necessarily. It depends on whether or not good has a hint booklet. Once my transmitter is finished, I'll be able to direct these bioengineered pigeons anywhere I desire. Soon, it won't be safe for anyone to go outside. Disorder will rule. <laughs> instructions broadcast by my transmitter. These pigeons will ensure that it's not safe to travel outside for a year. Woohoo! Disorder will reign. Go, my pigeons. Go. Get in the union. Congratulations on the successful completion of missions IBM, Lipstick, Banana, Cucumber, and Potato. This communication just in from the office of the Commissioner of Superhero Leagues. In acknowledgement of their successful missions and valorous service, the Superhero League of Hoboken is hereby promoted to a Level 3 League. All members of the League are awarded 2,250 experience points. A grant of 750 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Your maximum party size is hereby increased to 6. Tropical Oil Man advances to Superhero 8th Class, the Iron Tummy, Captain Ex- still finding food in the corners. In fact, there's a beef kebab. I'll go put it in the storage cabinet. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the briefing room. Hi, I'm Oxide Man, and I've traveled all the way from Albany to join your up-and-coming league. I'll go wait in your league cafeteria until you need me for a party. High radiation levels are being recorded in the vicinity of Mineola Village. You must procure and deliver a supply of lead-lined long johns before the populace undergoes irreparable genetic damage. 
Mineola lies on the border between sectors 3C and 4C and can be accessed using the helicopter you reported discovering at the conclusion of Mission Cucumber. A historical relic has been stolen from the George Washington's Headquarters Museum in Morristown. The relic is of unknown value and meaning, but must be presumed vital to our mission of preserving past knowledge. You must travel to the museum in Sector 1C to seek clues, find the missing relic, and return it to its proper place. Field agents report that Dr. Entropy has been spotted at the abandoned Belmont Park racetrack in Sector 3C. If our reports are correct, he has succeeded in interbreeding a sewer rat and a racehorse, which will produce a rat which can outrun any trap or poison. If Entropy succeeds in releasing a breeding pair of these vermin, it won't be very long before most of the Long Island sectors will be overrun. The priests of the Piscataway Temple have been receiving bribes in exchange for dispensing favors during services. This practice, if it continues, could undermine the entire social fabric in that city-state. You must infiltrate the temple, learn how these favors are given out, and put a stop to the practice. The Liberty Bell in Philadelphia has fallen from its moorings and has apparently trapped a cat underneath. Its nighttime mewlings, heard for miles around, are preventing residents in nearby Camden Village from getting any sleep. The Liberty Bell Pavilion is near the center of the Philadelphia sector, which can be reached via tube car from Newark. Take it east of Man. Bye. 
What's a souvenir, anyway? I think it was a kind of musket. No, no, no. It was a kind of cornmeal porridge that was eaten during colonial times. Treader Man advances to superhero seventh class. His abilities increase in every area. Greetings, worshippers! You are just in time for the service. A service will be beginning shortly. Please take a seat. We read responsively from page 85 of our prayer books. Oh, great one! Hear our call! Challenge us and test us! And if we are found sterling, reward us! Reward us with the infinite gifts and bounty! And who will be our first supplicant? I, Maybelline, a scrubber of gutters and downspouts. And what do you ask of us, Maybelline? Your holiness, I... Uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. Spin the wheel, Maybelline. I'm sorry, Maybelline. The wheel deems you to be morally bankrupt. Amend your ways and return to us when you have cleansed your soul.
Does anyone else wish to test their worthiness? Miles Blowgood, a merchant of fertilizer and animal feed, needs no introduction to our congregation. What do you ask for, Miles? Your Holiness, I ask for a letter J. Yes, today we have not one, but seven J's. And now, Miles, spin the wheel. dollars you have indeed been found worthy by the wheel with seven J's you receive a bountiful blessing of 35,000 kilo dollars some surprise like he really needs the bounty what does the wheel have against the common people excuse me you're drooling on my prayer book responsively from page 85 of our prayer books. Oh, great one! Hear our call! Oh, wondrous one! Hear our call! Challenge us and test us! And if we are found deserving, reward us! Reward us with thy infinite gifts and bounty. And who will be our first supplicant? I might. Does anyone else? Your Holiness, I ask for a letter. And now, Miles, spin the wheel. You have won bankrupt. Oh, Brother Miles, we, um... It was arranged! What about that bribe I gave you, you cheating weasel? The Crimson Tape advances to Superhero 7th Class. His abilities increase in every area. Robomop adv- Mademoiselle- Sorry, but there are no more services today. Sorry, but there are no more services today. It is forbidden to set.
Tropical Oil Man. If you're interested, I could ferry across Long Island Sound to Pelham, only 45 kilo dollars. What do you say? Ah, a party of superheroes. Always glad to have costume crime fighters in my shop. An honest shop I won. None of that black market business in here, no sirree. Would you care to see my... What can I do for you? Well then, hand it over! Wait! I thought this would never get here! Interstate commerce has been so undependable lately. Now I'll be able to go ahead with those seven tooth extractions, four root canals, and two exorcisms. You guys need to get across the sound to Port Washington? I can take it! I've got a submarine! I found her in a tidal pool a little east of here. Want a lift for, uh, how about 45 kilo dollars? Some of the controls don't work no more.
Dockside Man!
Bir diğer üstü var. The Crimson Robo, Mademoiselle Treader Man. Tropical You guys need some of the controls, don't.
Oxide Man! Improper or missing
Beef burger! Big yum! Ha! <laughs> you- Beef burger! Ha! <laughs> thing on me, but whoever it was, they sure know how to bell a cat! <laughs> yeah, you see the talking tiger mutation a lot down this way. <laughs> Say, have you heard the one about the lion who was so stupid he thought he was king of the beats? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I once dated a tigress who was so frigid I could use her to keep meat fresh for a week. She was so cold that a family of penguins moved into her fur. <laughs> Gotta run! I gotta be at a photo shoot for the new Frosted Flakes package. I wanna say that you've been a lovely audience. <laughs> the Bumbloos from Hoboken! This time you're too late! My special mating scent has proved efficacious, and, as you can see, my mares are quite pregnant! <laughs> Soon, they will begin birthing a new species of horse rat! Or rat horse! I haven't decided! <laughs> In either case, order will succumb to chaos! <laughs> Yes, yes, what is it? E <laughs> My creation will be as fast as a racehorse and as prolific as a rat. Before long, everything from Brooklyn to Montauk will be overrun. Where'd he go? Did you see which way? He's gone! Another round to you, costume crime fighters! But entropy continues inexorably! Woohoo! <laughs> Onward! Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Frostbite, Clown Nose, Corona, Grass Clipping, and Tree Bark. 
This communication just in from the Commissioner. The SLH is hereby promoted to a Level 4 League. All members are awarded 4,000 experience points. A grant of 1,000 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Maximum party size is now 7. The Iron Tummy advances to Superhero 8th Class. His abilities increase in every area. Cap Hiya, boys. They say you're a real up-and-coming outfit, and I'm a real up-and-coming kind of superhero. Keep me in mind for the next mission, especially if it's a really hard one. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the briefing room. There is a religious cult which dwells in Times Square and celebrates an ancient holiday called New Year's Eve every day by dropping a ball off a tall building in the square. However, the ball has disappeared. If it is not restored by the next ball dropping ceremony, the cult could riot, fomenting unrest throughout the sector. Times Square can be found in the New York downtown sector. Bad news. Entropy is once again at large, this time operating out of the ruins of a sporting facility in an area of Sector 3D that was once known, believe it or not, as the Bronx. Our field agents did not report the exact nature of his latest scheme, but he has apparently ordered a great deal of hospital equipment normally associated with cryogenic revival. Your mission is to discover the exact nature of his plan and, if appropriate, take steps to neutralize it. Descendants of Yale alumni living on the site of the former Yale campus in New Haven are threatening to loot and burn the Firestone Library on the former Princeton University campus in Sector 1A. This library is one of the region's foremost repositories of knowledge from before the collapse. Its destruction would be an unequal disaster. You may need to visit both the campuses in order to pacify the Yale tribesmen. Transportation to New Haven may be available in southern downtown New York. We have received a distress call from the Superhero League of Flushing in Sector 3C. They report that their headquarters has been overrun by mice. It appears that they're being a tad panicky, summoning help for such a minor problem. Nevertheless, League protocol dictates that you travel to their HQ and see if you can be of assistance. Explorers returning from the Philadelphia sector report the discovery of a relic from the pre-collapse era in that city's sewer system. As always, this relic must be presumed to be of vital importance to future historians and scientists and must be brought back here for safekeeping.
they're kind of on the large size for mice. It's about time you got here! What do you want? We should have a big neon sign out front saying, This way to the secret hidden superhero headquarters? Well, Horror Movie Man made some really spooky sound effects, but that didn't scare them away. And Queen Quiz Show tried to lure them away with a grand prize package worth over 11,750 kilo dollars, but they just didn't seem interested. What? But this is our home! Besides, we still have two years on the lease! Perhaps we shouldn't have disposed of all those radioactive wastes in the League's garbage dumpster. Sure! We'll whip your butts! After all, we've got several gloves that were once worn by Ed Cranepool! And we've all read Dave Kingman's book on the art of contact hitting! Right, let's get down to action. We'll show these giant mice who the boss is. You go first. For fifty kilo dollars, I could be convinced to carry your crew. Chaps, would your fellows be going anywhere near Princeton? If you would deliver this very, very important bird call to our sister bird watching cult there, they would, I am quite sure, reward you most handsomely. Jolly good, cheerio and all that.
We need to discuss our strategy for the upcoming campaign. Yes, but not here. At the museum out on Dixwell Avenue. Meet me by the solar washing machine in 30 minutes. Princeton. Good. I have equipped the men. Those tigers won't stand a chance against those old space lasers you found in the basement of that military lab. Right. This time, we'll burn their precious library to the ground.
Yaleys will be attacking soon, and I haven't a clue what they'll be throwing at me this time. Keep it down. This is a library. I'm the curator of this library, as my mother was before me and her mother was before her. I protect and add to the records that lie herein. I am the gatherer of the past, the guardian of the future. And by the way, I'm really pissed off that you didn't invite me to your big Cinco de Mayo party. This library was once part of a great center of learning. Now it is one of the few repositories of the great and holy knowledge of our learned ancestors. In cooperation with the superhero leagues of the region, we guard this building and its precious contents, shepherding it through the tumultuous present in order to connect the glorious past with the shining future. Also, the basement makes a really awesome racquetball court. This isn't a lending library, pal. I'm a librarian, not a doctor. Very well. What can I do for you folks? I must warn you, I don't have a lot of time. There are rumors that the Elis are stirring. Although historians tell me that my title is derived from an authority figure in the area of athletics, my role is now entirely a military one. I am charged with defending this library from the encroaching chaos, and especially from our primitive New Haven rivals. By Jove, that's just what I needed to know. The Yaleys were routed. They won't be bothering us again for a good long time. Party of superheroes. Well, don't. Are you the carrier with our bird call? Ah, yes, I see you are. Reward? Did our sister bird watching cult near Huntington tell you there would be a reward? <laughs> you suckers! <laughs> Princess Glovebuck! You'll never defeat me, Hobokian! I have more evil schemes than this game has levels! Where? 
What? Everything's fine, Mr. Steinbrenner. You've been revived. You see, now, my latest and greatest plot! <laughs> this man, who inflicted more than three decades of chaos on a famous sports franchise, had his body placed in cryogenic suspension by reviving him. <laughs> he can continue to spread his special brand of chaos, but this time, not just on a mere athletic franchise, but upon the entire world! Huh? Sorry, you'll have to speak up. My hearing's not 100% yet. I understand that it's one of the side effects of being dead for over a century. I plan on employing my usual management style. I'll hire all the best people, and if we don't conquer every surrounding region within 48 hours, I'll fire them and hire an entirely new set of all the best people. Actually, three times. Once for making illegal campaign contributions to Dick Nixon, once for paying money to a known gambler to dig up dirt on one of my players, and once for firing my manager and his entire coaching staff and my general manager and all of our play-by-play -play announcers during the fifth game of the World Series. That latter is probably my fondest baseball memory. Surprisingly, it's not at all unlike listening to Phil Rizzuto do a commercial for the money store. Yes, yes. As soon as I'm feeling better, I'll want to have a press conference. Yes, yes, what is... As one who has extensively studied the history of the late 20th century, I know that few, if any, men of that era were as responsible for the breakdown of the sensible social order as this man was. To bring him back now and install him in a position of authority? <laughs> Even my fantastically analytical mind cannot calculate the possibilities!
and why aren't you reveling? Sure, didn't you have a couple of Billboard Top 10 hits a few years back? Ponds Earl's Earmuff Emporium in East Islip. Very warm, and on top of that, they boost my toughness by three. Well, for goodness sake, please hand it over. Greetings to you all! I am King Midas, and ironically enough, I was traveling to join your league when I was kidnapped by those knaves. I will continue on to your HQ and wait there for assignment to a party. Princess Glove Ball.
Princess Glo King Mud the I Captain
So, you say that people have been waiting for me to do for the world what I once did for the New York Yankees? Yes, yes, I can see that. I accept the mantle of leadership. We'll have to start by firing everyone currently in a position of authority. Or, is execution permitted? If so, uh... What's going on? Why am I here? I remember a bar, a car... George, is that you? Billy! Billy Martin! Great to see you! I can use a man like you if I'm gonna be global dictator! What do you say? Deal? Sure! Deal! That is, as long as you don't stick your fat head in where it doesn't belong, you son of a bee! What?! No employee of mine can talk to me that way! You're fired! Fired? I quit! Okay! Come back and I'll double your salary and add an extra year! You little bastard! You're fired! Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Robin's Egg, Stoplight, Wee Wee, Clover, and Mud. This communication just in from the Commissioner. The SLH is hereby promoted to a Level 5 League. All members are awarded 6,250 experience points. A grant of 1,250 Kilo Dollars accompanies this promotion. Maximum party size is now eight. King Midas advances to superhero fifth class. His abilities increase in every area. A new set of missions is available. Hey there, honey. How can I be of service? You don't say. I made a few paper swans myself, but that was back before I learned that it's not how you fold the sheets that matters. It's what you do between them. Hey there. Hey there.
The warlord of a Poughkeepsie city-state has declared war on Afghanistan, a nation that may or may not still exist almost half a world away. Although Poughkeepsie shares no border with Afghanistan and has no hope of attacking it in any way, the declaration of war has driven the populace of the village into a militaristic frenzy that could spill over into adjoining regions. Three tribes in the New York City urban sectors are engaged in a ferocious turf battle. You must mediate the dispute and bring the three tribes to accept peaceful coexistence. The names of the tribes are puzzling, but seem to have their roots in the days before the collapse. The Bloods, who dwell in Radio City Music Hall, the Crips, who abide in Carnegie Hall, and the flagrant double Parkers, who live in the United Nations building. A visitor from the Huntington vicinity reports that the warlord of that city-state is in possession of a recently unearthed videotape that dates from the days before the collapse. Such a valuable relic of the ancient times should not be privately held. It must be procured and delivered to the Firestone Library at Princeton for safekeeping. A serious problem is undermining the social order in Freehold. The village shaman is overbilling and recommending unnecessary diagnostic procedures. The shaman must be shown the error of his ways before the city-state's economy collapses. Dr. Entropy escaped from the enforcement officers before they were even five minutes from Yankee Stadium, and he is working on his most diabolical plot yet. The development of a tree whose leaves will not fall off in autumn until after the surrounding lawn has been completely raked. You can instantly see what a demoralizing effect this would have on a populace already reeling from a shortage of leaf vax. Entropy must be stymied before he can introduce this monstrosity into the ecosystem. Entropy appears to be based atop a casino in Atlantic City, accessible by tube car from several points. <laughs> a cheerful good day to you, my good man. What can I do for you? Oh, not really. Well, actually, there was that time back about 20, 25 years ago when we were attacked by a band of 40 lava lampreys. Well, I turned those babies into mufflers faster than you can say number 10 hose clamp. <laughs> of course, I was a lot younger then. It's been years since I've been able to use my superpower in a combat situation. First, you've got to, um, well, you start off by, uh, actually, I don't have the slightest idea. It just sort of happens. is often called a muffler.
yes, yes, my mistake was trying to take Moscow from the West. Once I have Afghanistan in my grasp, I can march on Moscow from the South. And this time I won't do it in winter. Greetings, Emperor Bonaparte. I've come to say that I believe your campaign in Afghanistan is ill-conceived. You don't say! Well, if you're such a great general, why were you sitting on the wrong side of the table at Appomattox? Do you have a message from Josephine? News from the Russian front? Waterloo? Elba? Wappingers Falls? Be thankful I don't send you to the guillotine for a comment like that. He was probably just copying the obviously superior artistry of my expensive French interior designers. Or it may be just a ploy by legend to save disk space. Who can say? Famous generals, like myself, only discuss tactics with other famous generals, so quit wasting my time. Once the Khyber Pass is under my control, the Orient will tremble at my doorstep. General Norman Swartzkopf. Howdy, Emperor. I thought maybe you could use some advice from a master tactician. Face it, this Afghanistan idea just won't hold water. Master tactician? Yeah, you beat the pants off Saddam. But what about that mess you caused when you came out of retirement to lead the ground war in Bosnia? <laughs> Dismissed. Do you have a message? His Excellency's previous visitor, the one in the Alexander the Great garb, who convinced His Excellency of the need for the Afghanistan campaign, left this item behind. Perhaps you know him and can return it.
keep it. I have no information about that. However, I know this sounds silly, but you might try heading over to New Haven and seeing if you can locate the wisest man in the world. If anyone knows, it's him. Very well. Did you realize that this chip was wedged into the tape mechanism? Greetings, travelers. Plenty of vacancies. Heated pool, free color TV. Well, thanks. I keep writing to In Beautiful and to Better Ends and Larders, but they never reply. Perhaps they've stopped publishing. The most recent I've seen is about 94 years old. Oh, yes. I've heard that most innkeepers do. It's not clear whether people with a resemblance to Elvis Presley are drawn to become innkeepers, or whether being an innkeeper causes one to begin to resemble Elvis. What can I do for you? Check up? You wouldn't believe what the local hardware merchant is charging for a new MRI unit or for a pair of leech tongues. Party of superheroes! Always glad to have cut. Well, can I help you? Or are you just browsing? Greetings, travelers. Plenty of vacancies. 
Well, you know, I got, you know, certain expenses, you know, here and there. I got things to do, you know. Uh, you know, uh, expenses. Okay, okay, look. I'm only a man. I have certain needs, just like any man. Uh, now, do you understand? Yeah, the brothel, man, the brothel. Their prices are astronomical. Sorry, no socializing with our companions until their services have been retained. Hello there, what can we do to make you happy and comfortable? Well, you handsome hunk of red ribbon you, there are certain infectious diseases which are an occupational hazard for us. They can be cured, of course, but lately our local shaman has been charging a fortune. You couldn't possibly afford it. What can I do for you? Check up? Yes, I could accept such an arrangement. But do they have any Ecuadorian ladies? <laughs> I'm only interested in Ecuadorian ladies. Wait. Hello there. Well, we do have an Ecuadorian, but she's leaving. This climate is much too cold for her. The arrangement with the shaman just won't work. Juanita won't stay up north very much longer. She's always chilly. I know, but we have a wide range of receipts available. You could... Let me bring this to Juanita. Juanita appreciates your gift, but does not feel it will be protection enough against the harsh local winters. If only she had something to keep the rest of her body warm. while I crank up this old ditto machine.
name called Cape Cod, a confirmed crime fighter of consummate credentials. Count me in, comrades. I'll be cavorting in your cafeteria until I'm called. What knowledge do you seek? There hasn't been a fourth race at the Belmont in 80 years, or any other race for that matter. After that date, it turns sweet. I assume you've heard of a sweet cream? Well, that's where they get it from. Practice. Oh, come on. What do I look like? A computer on Star Trek? The rules of dramatic attention prevent me from answering that question. Swami, how can one recognize true love? A kiss before the morning tooth brushing is the clearest sign of true love. Go now and leave me to my contemplations.
warriors will attack the Carnegie tribe unless the totem they have thieved from us is returned. Oh yeah? Go tell it to the Marines. Whatever that means. Hmm, me not know. But wisest man in world in New Haven, he know. Trump, unless our stolen totem is restored to us! Bah! You talk like some of the mothers who think that our sacred totem isn't valuable enough to send their nine-year-olds into battle for! Uh -uh. But in New Haven, when our totem was stolen, our fleetest warriors gave chase. But the only sign of the thief they ever discovered was this strange disc. The gods tell me it should now be yours!
Be gone, you persistent pain in the necks! Your bumbling rock won't help you this time! My tree is already perfected, and shortly my injections will induce my creation to send forth a hundred thousand airborne seed pods! Within days, it will be growing everywhere, spreading disorder throughout the countryside! <laughs> Oops, almost forgot to laugh maniacally at the end of my speech! <laughs> there, now back to work! Yes, yes, what? With its extensive root system of rake detecting sensors, this tree will be able to time its leaf dropping in order to maximize aggravation and disorder. <laughs> Tell me, am I the most wonderfully evil arch criminal ever or what? <laughs> The Commissioner's Office will never give us credit! Hi, I'm Professor Prescription. I'm looking for a league to join, but no one's interested in a superhero with such a useless superpower. I suppose I should just give up and go back home to Sheboygan. It's such a stupid, insignificant power. I, I wish my guidance counselor had never recommended I become a superhero. I guess I should have gotten the message after the first 600 rejection letters, but I've always been pretty persistent. Just what is your superpower? Oh, it's so silly and worthless, I hate to even mention it. Okay, okay, but you have to promise not to laugh. My power is the ability to read doctor's handwriting. Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Summer Sky, Buoy, Margarine, Praying Mantis, and Fudge Brownies. This communication just in from the Commissioner. The SLH is hereby promoted to a level 6 league. All members are awarded 9,000 experience points. 
A grant of 1,500 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Maximum party size is now nine. The caped cod advances the iron captain. And so, he says, oh, it's my other buffalo who can play the piano. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the... Need any more superheroes in your league? I mean, hello, they call me the Mighty Magnitude, and I'd like to join up. Sorry about the mess, I just can't resist a dramatic entrance. You call this a mess? I'll drop off these supplies and then wait in the lunchroom for an assignment. The despicable but dauntless Dr. Entropy slipped out of the highest security cell in our highest security prison on an airless asteroid beyond the orbit of Jupiter, and he is constructing a machine in a lab at the crown of the Statue of Liberty. His plan is unspeakably evil, even for this enemy of decency. He plans to release a huge cloud of gas, which will cause everyone within 300 miles to forget which drawer they've stored their scotch tape in. The psychological effect on the population would be devastating. A religious cult is occupying a site near the Harrisburg-Middleton area of what was once Pennsylvania, where a nuclear meltdown nearly occurred in the latter years of the 20th century. Their belief is that mankind thwarted God's will by preventing the meltdown. Their mad scheme is to revive the plant and induce an accident, this time actually allowing the meltdown to occur. Dozens of villages would be buried beneath the resulting radioactive debris. Numerous rumors indicate that there are alligators living in the New York City sewers. Although the reports are, in all likelihood, erroneous, you must explore the sewer system to verify. In the unlikely event that alligators are in residence, they should be completely exterminated. An emissary from the hostelry in the Staten Island city-state requests help with a map storage problem which is seriously impairing their ability to provide services for travelers. Anything which interferes with travel services would negatively impact intervillage travel, and thus trade, and thus the beneficial effects of an increasingly dynamic society. When priests at the Scranton Temple announce the appearance of the likeness of St. Elvis in a coffee stain on a column in their anteroom, Scranton residents were delighted that their village had become the focus of so much attention. Now, however, the onslaught of pilgrims and sightseers has been so overwhelming that the city-state has been overrun, and there are signals that dissident elements in the village are even discussing setting fire to the temple. The situation must be somehow diffused.
The boss says to keep everybody out! Everybody! Man, sure is a hot one. Boy, am I ever parched! Man, sure is a Man, man. Greetings, travelers. Plenty of vacancies. Heated pool, free color TV. Some of my guests were drinking pretty heavily last night. I don't know what they were drinking, but it sure seemed to make them inclined to litter. Now nobody wants to stay here, and I don't know what to do. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Won't be able to accommodate you until I get this map problem under control. Hey there. The Mighty Magnitude advances to Superhero 4th Class. His abilities increase in every area. Greetings, travelers. King Midas!
Crimson, Robo, Madam, Tropic, Trader, Oxide, Princess. I guess we'll try Chernobyl next.
King, the mighty... Here is for good teachers. We spend much of our time in a school. Only 750 kilo dollars. Princess King the Might
Eyes upon me and be warned. The Crimson Robo Mademoiselle Tropical Treader. Oxide Man at Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Cold Water Faucet, Lava, Jaundice, Dollar Bill, and Deep Dark Savage Tan. This communication just in from the Commissioner. The SLH is hereby promoted to a Level 7 League. 
all members are awarded 12,250 experience points. A grant of 1,750 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. The Caped Cod advances to Super... Are we in the right place? <laughs> Is this the Superhero League of Hoboken? We're here to join up! <laughs> Become members! I'm Zaniac! And I'm Toastbuster! We're twins! It's the truth! Hard to believe it, we know! <laughs> Don't look a thing alike. That's what everyone always says. But it's the truth! Yep, they wouldn't have lied to us. <laughs> no siree, not in the John Lovitz room of the Ollie North Pediatric Wing of the Richard Nixon Memorial Orphanage. We'll hang out in the lunchroom till our number is called. <laughs> Great to be on board! Yep. A new set of missions is available. Please go to the briefing room. You have only one pending mission, but it is your most important one ever. Dr. Entropy has apparently survived his plunge from the Statue of Liberty and has established a base at the top of the Empire State Building. The details of his plans are unknown except for one. If he succeeds, it will mean an end to life on Earth as we know it. Ready and waiting for input. No, not at all. What a silly, crazy idea. A TV screen for a head? Ridiculous, unthinkable. My head is, in fact, a computer monitor.
Is that what you wanted? Princess King Mike the Mighty
crimson tape passes the coveted one million experience point mark. The commissioner of superhero leagues flies in from his ultra secret headquarters and decorates the crimson tape with a mill marker, which makes the bearer completely impervious for one round of combat. Robomop passes the coveted one million experience point mark. The commissioner of superhero leagues flies in from his alt mademoiselle pep tropical treader man oxide Princess Glove That must have been the elm tree going over the falls. Whew! We got out of the riverbed just in time. of our endeavors. If you help us get off this island, we will repent the error of our ways.
Nice day if it don't rain. I don't care much to talk about my past career. It had its ups and downs. This key is a real important keepsake to me. Of course, I'm always amenable to a trade. They be okay. God willing in the creek don't rise. Otis ain't a person, you ninny. I got this year cap from my previous job. Sure will. That sure is a mighty fine barrel, but I don't think it's enough for me to give up this here key. Getting there, getting there. These fine tools will sure help me bring in the crop. I suppose it's only fair to give you this key. Wasn't that tube station entrance around here somewhere? King Midas, the mighty
to see you. What's a movie without an audience? Of course, my projector is a projector with a difference. <laughs> Instead of merely projecting images, it can turn those images into reality. So what shall I use for my initial test? Jurassic Park? The Blob? The Gidget Goes Hawaiian? <laughs> of course! Considering our locale, only one choice is fitting. and just get me away from this beast! <laughs> Ready and... Thank you. 